inside my closet. I do some of my filming, some of my vlogging rather, inside this room and a lot of this stuff you pretty much kind of have seen but just haven't seen like the whole picture. So I'm just sharing my closet. Um, I've done one before. We're going to be moving um, within like a couple couple months, at least a month and a half or something like that. So I just want to kind of just document my progress and it's going to be different possibly better um i was a little reluctant to do a closet tour because it just isn't decorated the way i wanted it to be so i wasn't going to do one at all but then i decided the heck so this isn't only going to be just a closet tour but it's going to be like some tips and tricks um included with helping you organize your closet whether it's your closet in your room or if you have something similar or have the option to do something similar so hopefully you can get some ideas walking into my room this is what you see i'm going to back up a little bit and do an aerial view so that's the door i just walked through with my robes on the back has some jewelry my clothes a little plastic container shoes this is also my walk-in closet slash guest bedroom. So here is our other bed. And um, this is where I come when Nate <laughs> is making too much damn noise. He doesn't exactly snore, but when he sleeps, look, I, I can't. I need peace. I mean peace and quiet. Otherwise, I can't sleep. So I'll get up and I'll come in here. So thank God for a second bed. Okay. Let me start with how I have my clothes set up. So, um, I kind of have it color coordinated. Here are my t-shirts. Here are my sweaters. I have to bring down my other sweaters for winter wear. Here is my, these are my open cardigans. I have belts. You should get this because this is awesome. And then I have all these belts but only wear these four basic colors. Um, here are, some of these can go up, summertime dresses, some dresses, some dresses, dresses, uh, a couple rompers, I think I'm actually going to get rid of that. And then I have my button ups, button ups, button ups, button ups, a couple vests, and my blazers. Then back here I have... Some pants that are hanging up that I don't necessarily want to fold. A lot to do with the fabric. Some joggers. Some, I don't know what the heck to call these. Um, here are my skirts. About those. On the end here, here's the scarf hanger. I got this from Walmart. All of my scarves on here. Up top are my pants. Actually, my jeans with a couple pair of pants. Uh, and I know you're probably wondering, like, all of these kind of look the same, but they all have, like, a different fit. Skinny jeans, straight. Um, I have, uh, actually I actually only have my one pair of boyfriend jeans up there, but that's what that's about. Over here are my shorts. I only have a few pair, and I think I wore, like, three of them this past summer so I'm not really 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 big into the shorts here's a tip what helps with keeping your closet looking organized I have all of the same color hangers if it is off-white you don't I can't deal with it can't be up in here and then same thing with my skirts now I'm going to start phasing these out but I got these from Target as I buy things from Target I ask to keep the hanger I'm going to pop the sizes off at some point and they're all kind of the same color and it's great for hanging so that's another tip here are my bags um, I have the bigger bags on this end and further down here are the smaller bags a lot of these are clutches, some crossbody bags, and this baby right here, yes girl, that is a real Louis Vuitton. Nope, I did not pay for it. Um, full price, that is, I got it for $4, $4 from the Goodwill, I can't believe it. So I had to snatch it up. I have some paperwork down here, and I love these storage boxes. I have tights in this one. I have wallets in that one and just things and stuff in that one. 
down here are my shoes clearly and I wanted to have a stand for it um, to put my shoes on I had a bookcase before you can look up my old one of my old Instagram pics actually I think it was a short video that I did of a closet tour and I just needed the space or wanted the space so I got rid of the bookcases so I just have my shoes down here as you can see it's my sandals heels all the way down to my boots I, I have already gotten rid of some of my stuff and I think I'm going to downsize once again especially when I move but this is what it looks like Here is my jewelry. This is a really, really, really good setup from the dollar store. The dollar store. That is where I got these racks from. And then up top are my kind of like my bib necklaces and then my simple gold chains. Um, and then like my longer necklaces down here. So this is what it looks like. Here I have my earrings. I hardly ever wear these anymore because I'm into studs. I don't really do the dangly. In fact, the dangly earrings I have on now, I haven't worn in since I don't know how long, which is probably why it still looks gold <laughs> because if I wore it all the time, you know this ain't real. This is from um, Forever 21 Girl. So this is what it looks like. And when I have this, this is um, tool that I have this on. It's really another tip. There you go. Is very, very, very useful. And I just have it hanging up with um, thumbtacks. My other jewelry I have over here. Um, Nate got this for me from Iraq. And I just don't have the space for it. So um, that's why it's sitting over here. And it doesn't really go with what I got going on in here, but it has sentimental value. This stuff is kind of a mess. Bracelets, a lot of the stuff I don't even wear anymore. Here are the studs I was talking about that I wear. These, this is a bowl of rings that I also don't really wear like that. More earrings, earring studs, bangles, meat, Sasha. And then, no, this is... This is Sasha and this is Barbara. My grandparents got this for me from Barbados. And my father got this for me. I don't know where. Um, I know everybody thinks it's a voodoo, dogs, voodoo doll, but sentimental value. Here I have my underclothes in there. My mom gave me that. I wanted to paint it white. And then here's my workout clothes in here. Here's the bed. Oh. You're probably wondering about this Spongebob. My sister got it for me for my birthday. I love me some Spongebob. I'm not a fanatic like I used to be. I have him in my car also. Um, and here's another little one. I think I got this from the um, cereal box. My father got this for me when he went to, I guess, Cali. Um, so definitely, I'm the best daughter. I have to have that hanging up. Here are my skinny belts. This is, I think, this is meant to be a tie rack, but I have my skinny belts up on here. And then my closet within a closet. Yes, girl, I have more stuff. <sighs> Where do I start? Let me start. I'm going to work from my way from the top to the bottom. Up here, I have a couple of dressy shoes. I have cleats and I have hiking boots. In these bags... As a bag um, of stuffed animals, um, clothes that I can't fit that need to sew, uh, they used to fit, but then I lost a little bit of weight, um, dressy clothes, and uh, I think that's it. I don't know what else is in those other bags. Um, here are just tops that don't really fit with, I don't hardly wear them, so um, I stuck them back here. Here's a couple bridesmaids dresses. A jersey, velour suit, a um, couple cardigans, some of these shirts I can kind of wear or get away with on a uh, interview. Here are some plain long tees, short tees. Uh, then I have camis. You can never have enough camis. I like to collect these things from Forever 21. Mostly these are from Forever 21 at $1.80. So if you're ever wondering, like, damn, like, you know, why is she wearing uh, a white cami three days in a row? Bish is because I have several different white camis. 
and um and black so these are the two white and black as you can see are the two that i wear the most here are some leggings i'm not really big on wearing leggings i love to wear it when i travel and then if i'm wearing like a long duster cardigan or something like that i like to wear these then these are just some rib tanks under here is just crap i have bags lopped lot uh, laptop here i have my medals for my races in here uh some waist belts that i hardly wear some spare hangers here are some bags just to make room i just tuck them in here with like shower hook thingies there's another tip for you and it just looks like a hot mess but i needed them out of the way under here i have flip-flops um i'm probably gonna get rid of most of them because I like to collect everything in one color. I think those were from Old Navy or something like that. Here are some more sandals. There's some flats in there. Some more flip flops. Um, bags underneath there. Here are scarves and some winter stuff. This is what I'm using as a gym bag for right now. Um, some sandals. Some more shoes. Sneakers, which I don't really wear that often. Some rain boots. I have two pair of running shoes that alternate um, between the two they last longer here are some boots I have boots in these boxes like the tall boots that don't they they look better they're just better in the box um, a couple of Tim's I should probably break those out because I hardly wore those and these are like my newest collection of sneakers some more boots my green suitcase yoga mat here I have my hoodies, couple of vests, jackets, or coats, and then I have sweatpants, long johns, t-shirts. A lot of these are from races that I run in. And here are my hats. I have a couple pair of pants in here. Um, floppy hats, fedoras. These are in the other room, <laughs> the shoes that are in here. But here are my, I call them skippies. And then some sandals. Same thing on this door, sandals. And then my flats, I, I need to get rid of those. And then my flats. Here is my vanity area. I need to get a better light, I know. And I'm gonna change these out. But here, and I'm not really, really big on wearing makeup, but this is where I store my makeup. I got this vanity desk from Craigslist for $12. Oh my gosh, it was a steal. And then one of my good friends bought me this leopard print chair and I painted this white because, you know, I kind of had like a little white theme going on. It's hard to do that with having two dogs that shed terribly. A tray to hold my perfumes. A little box over here with just stuff that in it. That completes my room tour. I know it's a lot to go through. Thank you if you sat through the whole video. And I hope that you found some, some tips um, useful, that you got some ideas of how I have things set up. Also, I have to say that um, all of this stuff was purchased by me. 95% of the stuff that's in here is from off of a clearance rack. So don't bypass the clearance rack, girl. Let me just tell you that there are some good stuff that's on me, 95%. I could probably go through and tell you the stuff that I got at regular price a lot quicker than I can tell you all the stuff that I got on clearance. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see some outfit of the days with some of the stuff that you see in here, if you have any, if you have any tips that you want to add, leave that in the comment section below. If there's something that you want to see in a little bit more detail and more depth then definitely go ahead. Um, I forgot to mention that these racks that were placed up here, Nate put those up here. So I went to Home Depot, I bought the racks, and then he installed them on the wall. So I will be taking that with me when we leave. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna set up the next place. So we'll see. You're definitely gonna have to stay tuned. And when I say stay tuned, I mean subscribe so that when new videos come out, 
it'll pop up in your email or you just scroll through come through check me out every now and again but that wraps up my video thank you for watching and so i see you again peace macaroni pasta or elbows yes do i have enough yes and i was yes i wasn't even gonna make that much